Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. Okay, um, this is just gonna be a real short video. I just kinda wanna see what you guys have to say about this. So if you watch my videos for a while on my channel, you would know that To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is my all-time favorite book, and that the movie um, is my all-time favorite movie of all time, of all time, of all time. So anyway, last night, I was just like flipping through like YouTube channels and all this kind of stuff and I kept on, all these people kept on tweeting me about the fact that Kill Mockingbird is being made into a graphic novel and it'll come out in 2018, which I'm very excited about. Like all of these new things that happen to do with the world of Harper Lee or the world of To Kill Mockingbird, um, I feel like a lot of fans get like very apprehensive about and <clears throat> like when Ghost Out of Watchmen came out, so many people were like, I don't want to read it, I don't want anything to do with it, I don't want my image of Atticus ruined and whatever. I could not wait to get my hands on it. And I have to say, I, I, I did an entire review, go check it out, I'll, I'll link it below if I remember. Um, I did an entire review of To Kill Mockingbird and Ghost Out of Watchmen together because I think they belong together as a set. Um, and it was interesting about what happened, I'm going to tell you. But anyway, I'm going to tell you. So I was looking up stuff to do with To Kill Mockingbird, and all of a sudden I came across all of these um, interviews with Mary Badham, who played Scout in the movie. And I have kind of, like, followed her for years. Like, not, like, intensively, but, like, I know who she is. And I knew that she was, like, in an episode of Twilight Zone, which I had seen, where she dives to the bottom of this pool. And I knew that her dad or her brother was a director and all this kind of stuff. Like, I knew, um, you know, a lot about what had happened to her through the years and that she had been asked to come and speak to, like, a college university. And then now what she does a lot of times is that she goes around the country and she speaks about To Kill a Mockingbird. Um... And so, like, I was watching these interviews, and she's just such an, such an amazingly magical woman. And she's just so soft-spoken, and I loved watching her this. And she told all these stories about, like, running around on the set and meeting Boo Radley for the first time, you know. And if you – I have a dog named Boo Radley, so, you know, that's how much I love – this book and movie. And if my best friend hadn't gotten a dog and named it Scout, I would have named my dog Scout and had a Scout Boo Radley and Jim, but, and a dill too. You have to have a dill. So anyway, um, but I was watching these interviews last night and I got like so excited about To Kill a Mockingbird again, which by the way, Mary Badham loves Ghost Out of Watchmen. And she, go in and watch the interviews with her. Um, there's one with Mary McDougall where she is talking about the importance of the novel and what's going on today. Um, and she said, you know, you also have to read it from the point of view of when it was written and that people at that time could feel one way inside their house, but they had to present a different way in public. And I think that that's a lot of like what Ghost Out of Watchmen shows and the inner turmoil that Atticus has and trying, you know, and that Jean Louise is ashamed of him for that, you know. Um, but I think she understands it by the end. And so anyway, but she was talking in there about how different the book is from the movie. And now, I have to be honest with you, I have not read this book in years. I mean, it has probably been, I bet my freshman year in high school since I've read this book. So, you know, like 25, 30 years. And I was like, I think I want to revisit this book. Like, I, she was talking about all the different characters and how much it goes deeper into things in there. And so, you know, I was like, and she referred to this, I loved this, as that the, it had changed, she goes, this simple little book had changed the world. And I thought, I never thought of To Kill a Mockingbird as a simple little book, but I guess it is, you know? And in the paperback old version, 284 pages, not a long book, you know? And so I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun if this summer we did like a week-long read-a-thon, a read-along together, a To Kill, to kill, blah, 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 a to kill a Mockingbird updated read-a-thon, and then we, you know, all watch the movie on one night together, you know, because I think it's available on Netflix, actually, and you can also see parts of it on YouTube. So if you've never seen the movie, if you've never seen the movie To Kill a Mockingbird, you have to see it. Now, I love this book. This book changed my life, okay? Um, I would not be, I mean, I just did this, a video about this the other day, like books that change your life. I would not be who I am today had it not been for Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird. That being said, I think the movie is better than the book. And I think it's one of the only book movies that has been that much better than the book for me in my entire life, but I still equally love both of them. So all I really wanted to ask is who would be down for doing a readathon of To Kill a Mockingbird today? Not today, but like later this summer, like in August, and who would like to, you know, follow up with watching the movie? You can do both. You can do one. You can do whatever. You can say, piss off. I'm not interested. <laughs> whatever. But I just want to put that out there because I got really, like, excited about it again. And I thought, well, I need to reread this. I want to reread it and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, all right, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.